um, I don't know why it's making me want to cry, but, uh, -uh. so, so today, um, <clears throat> <sighs> so when <clears throat> so today I'm going to go um, look at apartments uh, I have to move soon yeah I'm just Okay, all right, so I'm just, yeah, I have to go look at apartments today. I don't know why my voice is like this. I'm trying not to cry. I don't know why I'm crying. I wish I wasn't, but anyway, I have to go look at apartments today because I have to move soon. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just like, Okay, I'm just like going through a lot, like, at the moment, and, <sighs> okay, um, yeah, so, um, I'm just going through a lot at the moment, and, um, I feel like, I don't have anyone to talk to, so. I might as well talk to myself. I don't know. I want to stop. Fuck. I wanted to start like vlogging and you know recording my life because I uh, I I know other people are like fuck. I don't want to cry. <coughs> I know other people are like going through stuff, especially right now at this time. And, I don't know, I just feel like alone, so why not try it, you know? Okay, so I went to that place and I emailed the guy and I'm like, hey, I'm on the way and um, you know, whatever. So I get on the way, I get here, I pull up and I'm walking to the gate and I'm like, okay, where's this guy? Um, calling the manager. I check my email and he's like, Oh, the place has already been leased. I'm so sorry. Stop signing. And I'm like, whoa, why didn't you tell me that? Thanks for nothing. So that's what happened with that. Um, I've seen a couple more for rent signs here on this corner. So I'm just going to go check them out. Yeah. <laughs> from looking at apartments well trying to look at apartments yeah. um, and I thought it was like really liking this outfit but I think it's just this shirt <laughs> get into it give a, give a little shoulder a little sexy shoulder but no I really do like this shirt it's really cute forever 21 less than eight dollars I just don't like the way these things do. um so yeah I feel a lot better than I did earlier and I just wanted to come and I guess retry that. So I'm 28 years old. Um, I'm working a job I hate. I work full time, over 40 hours a week. Um, like I said earlier, I'm moving by myself for the first time. Um, but I just kind of wanted to, I know it might feel like I feel, like I feel like time is like just speeding by and I'm, I have no idea what I'm doing. Like people always make it seem like they have it figured out. Or like if you hit a certain age, if you do a certain thing, or if you get to this certain place, then you made it or you're successful or you, I don't know. Like I just don't have that sort of plan. Like I feel lost. I feel sad and it's just been really, really rough. Um, a rough time. 
gonna try to take that and turn it into something else and uh, use this as like a diary or journal. And also to like keep myself motivated because sometimes it's like hard to get out of bed and do stuff. You know, like it's just hard to do stuff. It's hard to live a, a, a normal life like outside of working. Um, you just feel so heavy, you know, heavy. It's the best way to explain it. The show Big Mouth really like uh, did, did depression justice, like the way that they explained it. Uh, I'll try to insert like a clip or something. Uh, so you can Have you ever laid on your side, facing away from the television, listening to a friend's marathon? Oh. It's raining outside and you're wearing double socks. Yeah, mm. let's do that. There you go, sugar plum. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just so comfortable. That's okay. Let go of everything. That's exactly how it feels. It just gets like a warm blanket and you just get content in the sadness. And that is dangerous. That is dangerous. It's likened to an addiction because you get addicted to being sad. You get addicted to feeling bad. I think that's where I'm at because I can't even imagine feeling happy. Like, I mean, I guess I could, but it's just like, like I'm at the point where it's just like, But again, I'm working on it. I am trying to hold myself accountable. I want to see how far, like I want to look back at this and, you know, you know, accept and, and understand that these times are a part of life and a part of growing up and that there's no time limit. There's no schedule for how things are supposed to happen. ideal way to be or no ideal way to just go about life and that it's like a hard hard lesson to learn when you're 28 years old when you have been like working up to you know where you think you should be or where you're supposed to be a life a house a car kids husband all that is not facts like not factual like i wish they gave you the real but it, like when i was younger i probably wouldn't have listened to it. nobody tell me anything about anything so yeah that, it is what it is but um, again i just want to come here and i don't know use it as a journal or hopefully like other people can relate to me i can find people who relate to me do feel alone i know i'm not alone like i have friends and stuff but it's like i don't think they understand or you don't want to like weigh down people with your problems or you just want to tell certain people certain things you don't want them to see certain things or you know what i mean like everybody deals with things differently and um yeah yeah so that's it yeah.